Now, inflation hit 4.2% in October, with prices rising at their fastest pace since October 2011, up from 3% the month before. UK inflation's forecast to hit its highest rates in a decade. Supply chain disruptions, rising energy prices and a tight labour market have pushed the cost of consumer goods sharply higher. As winter takes hold and the nights draw in, the cost of living is soaring and the signs are price rises will continue. Inflation is likely to rise from 4.2% in October to around 4.5% when the figures for this month are released, before rising to 5% early next year. So inflation has already more than doubled the Bank of England's 2% target and set to go up even more. It's now as near certain as you can be in economics that the Bank's Monetary Policy Committee of Economists, the MPC, will soon be raising rates from the ultra-low emergency level of 0.1%. Many thought a rate rise would happen earlier this month, but the MPC voted 7-2 to two to keep rates on hold. That happened despite weeks of speculation, arguably encouraged by Bank of England Governor Andrew Bailey and other MPC members, that interest rates were indeed about to rise. Financial markets don't like surprises, and when no rate rise happened, the pound slumped as traders stole, sold sterling. And unless the bank regains its credibility, financial markets will likely become more volatile, causing economic shockwaves at a time when our economy is struggling really to get into gear. Now, this inflation is by no means just a UK issue. Eurozone inflation just hit 4.1%, a 13-year high. And US inflation is even more elevated, at 6.2%. But having previously dismissed UK inflation as transitory, then spreading confusion, the Bank of England does have a particular credibility issue that needs quickly to be addressed. So as prices spiral and the MPC struggles to regain its poise, that's your on-the-money question today. Is a December interest rate rise now inevitable 